Okay, it's coming. Okay, very good. All right, guys. So today we're going to talk about um, adjectives. So who knows what the word means? Adjective. Can anyone tell me? Oh, I think I can hear rain coming. So what is an adjective, guys? Who can tell me? So when you describe something, oh, I can hear the rain right now. It just started, Chris. Hello, hello, hello. So if I'm gonna describe the rain, I can use an adjective. What can that be? It is heavy, heavy rain. That's an adjective. Cold rain, that's also an adjective. What else? Can anyone give me a whole list of adjectives? How else can we describe rain, Chris? Tell me about the rain. rain. In oh. Windy. 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 Rain is wet. Ah, well done, Finia. So wet rain. I think I can hear heavy rain. Or is it light rain? Here it is raining. Cold yes. rain. Cold rain. Okay, good I one. I love rain. Paul, you it's like cool. rain? Me it's too, cool. I really like rain. I gotta say, I do like it as well because it, it becomes quite cool when the rain comes. It's quite relaxing. Yes, yes, yes. So, Guys, what we're going to do to start off today, we're going to do a quick five-minute storybook. So we can wait for everybody to come and join us. And we'll start with an interesting story to start off our lesson today. So let's go and find that storybook. Um, here we go. So the storybook is called The Grumpy Monkey. Who can tell me what grumpy I, means? I know the grumpy monkey. I, am, I have it in a book. The grumpy monkey. I know it. I know it. It's from a book from my kindergarten books. Okay, good. So tell me what the word grumpy, Crystal, what does grumpy mean? Grumpy. And that's an adjective. Grumpy, right? grumpy. Go on, Finia. What does grumpy mean? Grumpy is like you are in the, uh, you are in the like sad and angry mood, like mixed together. Yeah, very good. So grumpy, sad, angry, unhappy. So that's an adjective. So about feeling. So grumpy. Um, what's some other words we could use for grumpy? Um, moody? Moody. Moody. Have we heard of moody? I'm very no. moody today. My mood is not good. So what we're going to do, let's, uh, let's start the story. It's only a short one. Okay. I love stories. And if you've you've uh, read the book, you can now see it in uh, in a animation. Grumpy monkey. Oh, let me just share my sound, hold on. Okay, I'll just share my sound, hold on. Let me know if everybody can hear it. I can't hear it. Okay, let me just, change the settings so I can put the sound on. Okay, here we go. So, Grumpy Monkey by Suzanne Lang. Illustrated, which is the person who does all the pictures, is Max Lang. I think that's the son of Suzanne. He does nice pictures. Yeah, it is. One wonderful day, Jim Panzee woke to... Oh, let me just hide this away. Hold on. I can hear it. You can hear it now? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, I can hear it. Okay, I can excellent. Hear it well. 
All right, so it's a wonderful day. Jim Panzi. So this is Jim. <clears throat> Jim is the grumpy one. So Jim is hanging on the tree, not looking very happy. So looking a little grumpy. So let's find out why he's so grumpy today. Yeah. Discover that nothing was right. The sun was too bright. The sky was too blue and the bananas were too sweet. Jim was confused. Now, what's going on? Maybe you're grumpy, suggested Norman from next door. I'm not grumpy, Jim insisted. On his walk, he met Marabou. Jim's grumpy, Norman told Marabou. Why are you grumpy, Jim? asked Marabou. It's such a wonderful day. Grumpy? Me? I'm not grumpy, said Jim. But look how you're standing, Marabou said. Yep, it's true, said Norman. You're all hunched. So Jim loosened up. Then he ran into Lemur. Jim's grumpy, Norman told Lemur. Why are you so grumpy, Jim? asked Lemur. It's such a wonderful, wonderful day. Grumpy? Me? I'm not grumpy, said Jim. Well, look at your eyebrows. Yep, yep, you look grumpy, said Lemur. Mm-hmm, it's true, said Norman. You're all bunched up. So Jim raised his brow. Then he tripped over Snake. Uh-oh, said Norman. That's the last thing you need when you're feeling so grumpy. Grumpy? Me? I'm not grumpy, said Jim. Then why the frowns? Said Snake. Mm, I think it's because he tripped over you, Norman whispered to Snake. So Jim put on a smile. Finally, Jim looked happy but he didn't feel happy inside. Everyone wanted Jim to enjoy this wonderful day. You should sing with us, said the birds. Jim didn't feel like singing. Oh, you should swing with us, come on, said the monkeys. Jim didn't feel like swinging. Oh, you should roll with us, said the zebras. Jim didn't feel like rolling. You should stroll with us, said the peacocks. Jim didn't feel like strolling. Ah, you should lie in the grass. <laughs> you should stomp your feet. You should take a bath. eat old meat or some honey you should jump up and down on me you should sit sit in the sun like me see oh, you should dance but Jim didn't feel like doing any of that why are you so grumpy Jim Asked the others. It's such a wonderful day. I'm not grumpy, shouted Jim as he beat his chest. And he stormed off. <sighs> Jim felt sorry. A little sorry for shouting at everybody, but mostly sorry for himself. I guess I am grumpy, Jim sighed. And just as he was starting to feel really sad, he came upon Norman. Norman was slumped. His eyebrows were bunched up. And he was frowning. Well, what's the matter? Are you grumpy? Asked Jim. No, 
I danced with Porcupine, said Norman. Uh, are you okay? asked Jim. Yeah, it hurts, but I'll probably feel better soon enough, said Norman. Are you still grumpy? Yeah, said Jim, but I'll probably feel better soon enough, too. For now, I need to be gr- ไปค้างอ่ะเขาไปค้างละโชว์รอสักครู่นะสักครู่เด็ดไม่ดีมั้งฝนตกค้างไงค้างแล้วเนี่ยไปนะครับแปลว่าอะไรมั่งครับโอ้เสียงไม่ได้ยินเนาะหลายๆอย่างครับมีแอคทีฟหลายๆอย่างน้องคนนี้น้องไปเขาตอนพูดถึงแอคทีฟไงก็คือหมายถึงว่าลิงตัวเนี้ยกัมปี้ใช่ไหมก็ทั้งโมโหทั้งโกรธบุญหิดงุ้งนี้งุ้งนี้ไปไหนก็ไม่ยอมกระโดดไม่ยอมเล่นอะไรอย่างเงี้ยผมถามอะไรเลยครับก็คือทําไมที่เชื่อมาร์กหายไปอ่ะครับอ๋ออินเทอร์เน็ตไม่ดีฝนตกมากมันค้างไงเดี๋ยวมาอินเทอร์เน็ตมันค้างเห็นป่ะมันยังไม่จบเลยมันค้างรอแป๊บหนึ่งรอแป๊บหนึ่งเหมือนพออ่ะมันดีที่บ้านอินเทอร์เน็ตค้างใช่ไหมเออผมไม่ค่อยเป็นนะคะอินเทอร์เน็ตค้างอ่ะแก้วแก้วกับวิตเต้อะครับเข้าใจว่ายังไงมากเมื่อกี้เนี่ยแก้วกับวิตเต้อะครับเข้าใจว่าไงบ้างเดี๋ยวเมื่อกี้เนี่ยลีอารมโกรธครับแล้วผมก็เข้าใจว่าแล้วพี่หลายพี่เข้าใจว่าอย่างไรบ้างวิดีโอเมื่อกี้เนี่ยหนูเข้าใจทุกอย่างค่ะโอเควิญญาณเวสยูทิวอ่าลิตากับลิชาล่ะเข้าใจว่ายังไงบ้างลิชากับลิตาอยู่ไหมเดี๋ยวค่อยกลายว่ามันโกรธค่ะอ๋อโกรธเนาะแล้วลิซิต้าล่ะลิซ่าลิซ่าเข้าใจอันนี้ไหมเขาพูดแล้วเขาพูดถึงนะคะเขาพูดถึงเรื่องอะไรคะลูกเขาพูดเหรอคะฟังไม่ออกเลยค่ะแต่สังเกตไหมว่าเขาจะมีรูปภาพประกอบนะว่าสัตว์ตัวนี้ทําอะไรบ้างอ๋อสัตว์ตัวนี้ก็ไม่ชอบอ่ะระหว่างที่รอพิเชอร์มาร์กพี่คุณพลเข้าใจว่ายังไงบ้างพี่คุณพลเข้าใจว่าครับก็โอเคเข้าใจว่ายังไงบ้างที่พิเชอร์มาร์กเขาพูดมาเนี่ยครับเข้าใจว่าเออลิงดูโกรธนะครับอ๋อโอเคพิเชอร์มาร์กมาแล้วนะครับเย่ก็มีฮัลโหลฮัลโหลเพนฮัลโหลเพนแอปเปิลเอาไว้รอไว้โอเคขอโทษครับผมกลับมาแล้วครับมีปัญหาอะไรไหมครับมีปัญหาอะไรไหมครับมีปัญหาอะไรไหมครับมีปัญหาอะไรไหมครับมีปัญหาอะไรไหมครับมีปัญหาอะไรไหมครับมีปัญหาอะไรไหมครับมีปัญหาอะไรไหมครับมีปัญหาอะไรไหมครับมีปัญหาอะไรไหมครับมีปัญหาอะไรไหมครับมีปัญหาอะไรไหมครับมีปัญหาอะไรไหมครับมีปัญหาอะไรไหมครับมีปัญหาอะไรไหมครับมีปัญหาอะไรไหมครับมีปัญหาอะไรไหมครับมีปัญหาอะไรไหมครับมีปัญหาอะไรไหมครับมีปัญหาอะไรไหมครับมีปัญหาอะไรไหมครับมีปัญหาอะไรไหมครับมีปัญหาอะไรไหมครับมีปัญหาอะไรไหมครับมีปัญหาอะไรไหมครับ Let me go back to where we were. I thought it just finished before I disconnected. So let's have a look. Where did we get to? About. And we get to I need. The I need something. Okay. There, right there. That's it. That's it. That's was, it. He on the, was he on the tree with the gorilla? Yeah, that's right. Okay. Yeah. So let's go back to this point here. Okay. Okay. So. So we've got Norman the gorilla trying to cheer him up, trying to trying to cheer Jim up. Yeah. So far, why is why is why is Jim so upset for? Do we know why is he grumpy? Because he danced because he with danced uh with the, with the hedgehog, and the hedgehog had um some needles. 
and his friend. Oh, okay. So he's upset with one of the other animals, the hedgehog. Yeah. Okay. All right. So let's go and finish off and see what Norman says to, to Jim. So here we go. He danced with porcupine, said Norman. Uh, are you okay? Asked Jim. It hurts. But I'll probably feel better soon enough, said Norman. Are you still grumpy? Yeah, said Jim. But I'll probably feel better soon enough, too. Mm -hmm. And now I need to be grumpy. Mm -hmm. It's a wonderful day to be grumpy, said Norman. Jim agreed. And he already felt a little bit better. The end. Don't forget to click the subscribe button if you want to be kept up to date with new video posts. Thanks! Okay guys, so that's the grumpy monkey. So what was that again? So he was upset by the hedgehog, was it? Yeah. And what did the hedgehog do? The, um, the hedgehog, um, Bad. throws, like, throws some quills at the big gorilla. Okay, so the hedgehog. Maybe that's, uh, maybe just, uh, they put the, they accidentally got, like, butt together and butt together, and then the hedgehog had some, uh, needle stick in his butt. Okay, so let me just get my headphone on because the rain is quite loud here. All right, guys, so we're going to get on to an activity to see how well you guys can find some stuff. Okay, so we have here a picture. Are we going to do the quiz? Are we going to do like um the Lucky things again? Or what? Something similar. What we're going to do is we're going to have a look at this picture. And we are going mm -hmm. to, I'm going to ask you some questions and I need you to find some things on this picture. Can everybody see this picture? Yeah, but it's a bit small. A bit small. Okay, so let's make it a little bit larger. Let's make it a bit larger. Okay, is that better? Yeah, that's better. All right, now where are we? I think that's better. So this is um, called, what are they doing on Carnival Day? Okay, so it's like a fun fair. Uh... Okay, so we can see lots of people on here. And we're gonna Some are flying kites. Flying kites. Oh, yeah, I can see a kite. Who's holding the kite? I. Oh, I can see. Thanks, Crystal. So I can see the kite and the string, but I couldn't see anyone holding it. So let's see. What else can somebody find that's interesting? What's the most interesting thing you can find the... on this carnival picture? Finia, what have you found there? The house. The house. Okay, that's a house. It looks like someone's eating breakfast upstairs. What about in, the, chim in the chimney? Building, Who building, find? building. Yes, that's the building. Who can find the chimney? Does anybody know the word chimney? Yes. Ah, there it is, the chimney. What's inside the building? The, the building. The chimneys are on top of the building. That's it, Paul. Good job. All right, now, guys, we've got a whole bunch of questions now that I'm going to ask. And we're going to cover some, some verbs, okay? Doing words. What are these people doing? For example, let's go down the bottom here, okay? So we can see here we're going to choose the correct verb from this box here. Put it in to the answers. 
and we're going to add present continuous tense, which is when we add ing to a word. So we have, let's go through these words first. Before we go finding anything, hold off, hold on your circles just for a minute. Oh, there are your circles. Hold on, let's move the circles away, clear them off. Okay, so there's our first question here, number one. Two men, something drums. And here are the words we've got. We've got. Let's, let's go through the words firstly, okay? Let's go through the verbs we've got. Before we talk about adjectives, now we're gonna talk about a little bit about verbs. Okay, well. So we got follow, chalk. What is chalk? Can anyone tell me what chalk is? Chalk is that little thing we write on the blackboard. It can be white, it can be colored. That's chalk. We have fly, beat, feed, eat, sell, cross, carry, ride, buy, tell off, skateboard, sit, stand, climb, and watch. Okay, now everybody hold off on drawing on the screen. So let's get rid of the red circles for a minute. And then we will cross off the words that we find. So let's go to the first one. So two men, and what are they doing? Two men, something drums. Let's go and have a look at if we can find them. Okay, so who can find the two men with drums? Can anybody see them? Um, two men with drums, there. There, okay, yeah. Crystal. So you found the two men with drums, there they are. Now, what word can we put in? What word can Two we men get? are playing the drums. Now, do we have, do, we don't have playing. So we need to choose another word. Beating, beat, beating. Ah, okay, who said that? Who said beating? Chris, Chris. Chris, well Chris. done. I think, I think Chris has the first one. So let's quickly go over here to, let's just go here and... Hold on, let's just put a new document here. Clear our frame. I'm gonna put a text. So number one. Oh, now I'll just get you to move your red arrows out of the way for me, guys. Crystal? Crystal, we can move you. So number one is like what Chris e said. Beating. So number one, we know is beating. Sorry, I just want to make this a little bit smaller. That's a little large. Let me just change the font size. Well, actually, maybe I've just got to minimize this. Okay, so there's number one, beating. Well done, Chris. Let's go. Oh, let's go to... Oh, let me just edit this so we can put all our, all our answers in here. So number two, number three, number four, number five. Okay, so beating. So in other words, beating, like hitting the drums. Okay, I was looking for carrying, but it was not carrying, it was beating. Let's go back to our picture. Okay, so let's just increase the size of this again. Okay, so let's cross out beating. We don't need that one anymore. Let's go to the next one. Number two, a man with a red helmet, something, a bike. Riding. Ah, there he is. Well done, Crystal. So he's got the red helmet on, a man with a red helmet. Now... Do we just say riding or we have to put something in front of riding? 
Um, a man with a red helmet is riding a bike. Well done. So let's go back to the first one, actually. We need to modify that to, oh, let's make it in lowercase. Are beating for the first one. Because the two men, we talk about two, we say are. And then the second um, one, we just said. It's riding. Oh, let's just go over here. Okay, so let's just get that corrected. So is, we've got to say is riding. Oh, okay, so my Jamboard is not working too well at the moment. Let me just edit this one so we can capture our answers. I think we're just going to go with a... R-I-D-E. Hold on, I'm going to just put it into Notepad, okay? A little bit easier, we can all see it. Okay, so there we go. So down here we got number one was... R-I-D. Are beating, so the two men are beating the drums. Number two, the man in the red helmet is riding. Can everybody see that on my screen? Riding. Is I don't riding. know if it's driving or riding. Okay, so let's just change the words. So we start riding. from was it ride? R I D E, and that becomes riding let's go back and have a look yeah there it is r i d e so a man with a red helmet is riding a bike number three a family of five people something at table and they something dinner so let's go and find dinner five people they eat dinner they eat dinner and Where's the five people? Is that it's them? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Okay, it's so them. five people. Can I see the question again? So the question is, question is, a family of five people, something at table. Are sitting. Are sitting. Are sitting. Well done. Okay, uh, so. Family of five sitting at and that should be the table. The family of five people are sitting at the table and they the table. It must be at the table. Yeah, correct. I think over here should be the. I think there's a mistake here, so it should be the table. Okay, so the family of five people. So we've got we've got eat. Oh sorry, we've got sit. And then the other one will be Eating. So let's go back in hey, here. That's not... Well done, guys. So let's go to number. Let's go and put number. Let's go get our answer in here for number three. So it was our sitting. Our sitting and um... which, which is coming from sit. And then the next one is um. Eat eat. Eating. Well done. So. There we go, sitting and eating for number three. Let's go down to number four. Number four, a vendor, something they get at a sandwich stall. A vendor is like a shop, is like a shop seller. They get, anyone know what a they get is? This um, word is I've never heard that word before. So they get is a bread roll. Is a special long French bread roll. Oh. Called baguette. Oh. So fancy name for a bread roll. So a vendor is something baguette at a sandwich stall. Let's go and see. Can we find the, the sandwich stall? Um, can you go a little up? Okay, let's have a look. Uh, there's a cheese store and there's a um a cheese. Yeah, I can store. see I can see the I can see the cheese stall. Let me see. Can anyone see the vendor selling store. bread? Um, bread, 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 bread. I think let's have a look to the left. 
Let's have a look. I think is that guy got bread? Maybe there where Kristen showed, but yeah, I there. think that looks like a long bread roll, a baguette. He's got a baby and a pram next to him. Yes, and there are some uh and there is like a what is it called? It's like a box and the long breads are in there. Oh yeah, there they are. And looks like is this lady carrying some more bread? Yeah, I think so. Okay, all right. So let's see. Let's go back down to the question number four. A vendor something baguettes at a sandwich stall. What could that one be? Which uh, which verb up here? Maybe it was at a sandwich store. Ouch. So it's gonna be a, it's something an action word. So. A vendor is. Okay. What do you do when you give money to the shopkeeper? Buy. What are they doing? Buy, buy, buy. Correct. Yes. Buy. The customer buys, but what does this, the other person do? They don't buy, they. Opposite. Um, they sell, they sell. Sell. Okay, good. So there it is. S E W -L, L. A vendor. And we can't just say selling. What do we got to put in here? Something selling. Okay, okay. The a vendor is selling. Yeah. So the word we want is 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 selling. Selling, and then that comes from the word sell. Okay, excellent. So we're down to number five. Sell. Okay, we ready for number five? Uh huh. A man something his daughter for being naughty is punishing let's have a look firstly let's find where i know i know it, where it is it's there it's there hold on there. let me just minimize there, 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 this one there. i can't see this one where there, let's see. there oh. it's under oh. the it's over the five people eating and sitting oh yeah yeah okay there you go so it looks like yep good one so here looks like is it the, the dad at the table the little yeah. girl has done something wrong and what is he doing he is Blaming? so and the question for number five a man something his daughter for being naughty Ooh. Okay, can I see the words again? Maybe I can. This is think. actually a hard one. Okay, this is a hard one because it's not. Uh, it's not a. It's not a common word. He's actually. I might help you with this one. It's on, the, it's on this line here. It's on the bottom line. He's shocking. No. So the word is. This is a hard one. The word is. I'm going to write it down on the notepad. Uh, it is. Tell off, tell off. Yes, he is telling off. off. So telling off is another word for being upset with somebody. So telling off. If you do something wrong at home, you may be told off by your mum or dad. In other words, um, yeah, you're kind of being, uh, you're being maybe yelled at or shouted at, told to that you did something wrong. You got told off. So that was a hard one. So good find on that. Okay, let's go to number six. A dog. Something, it's master along the street. Um... So a master is the owner of the dog. The dog... Have the dog look. may be Have waiting for the master because there's the dog and the ah, master right there. Yes, okay. So that that little guy, the little brown dog, and what's he doing? And there's the, is the master in the green jacket, do we think? He's buying some beer or wine. Uh, okay, let's have a look. What was the question again? A man, oh, sorry, a dog, something, it's master along the street. Oh it's no, so there's the master, isn't it? So yeah, it's that's the master. Shop. Yeah, that's right. So there's the owner. Okay, and what do you think? 
what's going to be the answer? What's going to be our, our answer here? A dog um, is um, following. Follow, the first one. Follow, following. Does everybody agree with that? Is he following his master? I think you're exactly right. Let's put that in. So he is following his master. He's following. Yes, good, Paul. So yeah, he's following like a good dog and he's not on a chain. So he's a very well-behaved dog. Okay, we got that one. Let's well go. Well-trained. Well-trained. Well -trained. Yeah, very, very well-trained. Um, let's go to the next one. Number seven. On the top of the chimneys, a bluebird something its baby. Okay. So what is That's the bluebird doing to its baby? Let's have a look. Um, I saw this in the chimney. There they are. Let's see if we can get a bit closer. It's feeding the babies. Ah, okay. So there it's feeding. Do we have the word feed? Yes, we have. Where I is it? Let's have. have a look. Let's have a look. Oh, yeah, I can see it next to beat and next to eat. Beat, beat. is beat. So, well done. So that one needs to be. Number seven is feeding. Which comes from? Feeding. Feed, yeah. Like a good, a good mummy bird is feeding the little blue bird. Number eight. Ready for number eight. Let's go down here. Number eight, a kite, something in the sky. It's flying. It's flying. flying. I think sky. that's the one you circled at the start. There it is. The red and yellow kite is flying. Flying at the sky. It is flying. So let's go and have a look. Do we have fly? We do. Well, oh, so we've lost some lights here. Yes, we do. I saw that. Fly. Uh huh. Okay. So let's write that in. Is flying in the sky comes from the word fly. Number nine. It's flying. It's flying. It is flying. Okay. Next. Next. What do we got? An old man, something in front of a big tree. He something cheese from the cheese stall. An old man. He's the second one. I think the second one will be eat. All right, let's have a look. So where is the old man? Is that him? Okay, the old man is standing, but we had to stand already. Oh, we had to sit, but not stand. Not uh, standing. Stand so the old man is standing. Is that the first one? In front of the she store and buying. Okay, let's have a look if we can match these up. An old man is sitting oh, in front of the big tree or standing in front of the big tree? Standing in front of the big tree. Okay, so let's put that in first for the first one. So, he is, so he is standing in front of the big tree. And that comes from the word stand. He's standing. And, and what's he doing after that? So we know he's standing in front of the big tree. And he is, what's he doing? Buying, buying. He's buying, where's buy? There it is, B-U-Y, buy. So, okay, so we got that one. So he is buying or he is purchasing. Buying. He's buying. Oh, the cactus. Okay, he is buying, good. Okay, we got number 10. Go to the next one, a boy. Oh, sorry, number 10. A man and a woman, something their children play in the play area. So what are Let they them... doing? Where's the play area? There's the play area. There, there. Ah, there. Okay, I think I can see the man and the woman. Okay, uh, the man and the good. woman is there, right there. I'll show you. Is the man holding the orange bag? So yes, that's it. So that's then. Now, what are they doing? Let's have a look at the words we've got left. They're hugging. They are hugging, but 
they're doing something towards their kids who are playing in the play area. They're looking? Looking to your kids? They're looking? Is there looking here? Let's have a look, 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 look. No, no, look. Um, doesn't look like it. They're... What about at the end here? They're watching. They're watching. watching. They're watching. Now, because it's two people, do I say is watching or are watching? Are watching. Are watching. Good, because there's two people. So let's put in here are. They are watching their kids. And that comes from the word watch. Not the watch you put on your arm. Are uh, watching. The watch that you do with your eyes. Okay, let's go to number 11. A boy in a blue jumper and red trousers and a girl with blonde hair. Boy in a blue jumper and red trousers and a girl with blonde hair. So what are they doing? Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Can we find them? What again? Um, find what again? A blue jumper. Um, a girl with blue jumper and blonde hair. A blue jumper. Boy with a blue jumper and red trousers or pants and a girl with blonde hair. So a boy with blue jumper and red trousers. Okay, I think I know that's not correct. With blonde oh, hair. Would it be these two? Can it be this girl? Would they be sitting on the front of the playground, I wonder? No, but she doesn't have the red trousers. Ah, would it be these two? They're on this yellow strip. Ah, uh, but no one is a girl. Um, one is a girl. Yeah, she's got blonde hair. Know. This girl over here's got blonde hair. But doesn't have a red trouser. No, but the boy's got the. I think was it red trousers? Let's have a look. Ah, uh, the boy's got to be wearing the blue jumper and red trousers and a girl with blonde hair. Oh. It's a, it's a hard a one. A red trouser or? Yeah. Blue jumper. Sorry, was it a red? Yeah, red pants, was it? Let's have a look. Yeah, so red pants and a blue jumper. So who's wearing red what pants is, out here? What is a jumper mean? There, the skateboard boy. Jumper, the like skateboard. a long sleeve. Oh, the, skateboard the skateboard boy. boy. The skateboard boy. The skateboard boy. Oh, this guy. Oh, yeah. yes, I think and we found that it. that girl with the blonde hair is also doing skateboard. Okay, good. So there's our girl with the blonde hair. There's the red trousers and the blue jumper. So what are they doing? Skateboarding. Skateboarding. They are skateboarding. Yes. Okay, so they number 11, we got it, we got it. Number 11 should be, now it's two people again, so it's R, skate, boarding, okay, which is a verb, and that comes from the word skateboarding. Uh. Skateboarding. Who likes to do skateboarding? Uh, skateboarding. Do we have anybody doing skateboarding at the moment? Anyone? Uh, skateboarding. My friend Gaia. Skateboarding. Oh, Gaia does skateboarding? Mm hmm That's cool. Gaia yes. is a Thai name. It's normally Gaia. Okay. All right, guys. So let's go to the next one number 12 a group of children something on the pavement pavement is the like footpath group of children, watching the can pavement. See. what are they doing let's have a look um to what so a bunch of a group of children i think it's these guys possibly are drawing are drawing Drawing. Let's have a look. Do we have drawing? Ah, or is it chalk? Drawing. So chalk is, I think, another word. They're actually putting chalk. Yeah, I think it's chalk. So it's it is drawing. Is but right I think chalk. we're going to use the word chalky. Chalky. Chalk. 
So a group of children. But not like in German, the shop, right? Yeah, look, it's not common to use it. So basically, they are they are drawing. But we're going to use the word they gave us, which is chalk, and we're going to say they are chalking because chalk is something that can be easily washed off as well. Okay, so they are chalking on the pavement or on the footpath. Okay, so let's go to the next one. A girl in red boots, something on the road. What's the girl in red boots doing on the road? Red boots, red boots. Okay, where is she? She's so... walking over the road. Okay, so there she is. Looks like she's just left the bus stop. That looks like a bus stop. I think she's just left the bus stop. She's quite yep. chubby. She is a little chubby, so a little chubby. So she's got blonde hair, white singlet for everybody can see her. Now, what is she doing? What is, what's the verb that we can say? Oh, I think I know the one. So what's she doing? A girl in red boots, something the road. What's it gonna be? Um, let me see. On the see. top line here. It's crossing, crossing. She's crossing, yes. Yeah. So she's going from one side to the other. So we're going to call that crossing the road. So she's one person. So it's is crossing. It's crossing the road. And it's cross. Okay. Four, crossing ten. the fire fire. Yes. So she is crossing she is the road. Crossing. But it's dangerous. She's not crossing, crossing over a zebra line. The, the zebra crossing or the or the traffic lights? Yeah. But it's, it's a quiet. Been... All right, let's go to the next one. Four children, something on the climbing frame. So where's the climbing, climbing frame? Thing. Uh, is the climbing frame for kids? I think so. Uh, four children. Yeah, there it is. It's like a, a tent without a climbing shame. Of course, there must be climbing. Pick out. So, what are the kids doing? Do we have? We don't have playing. So what are they doing? They're climbing they the climbing shame. We have climb. Four children are climbing correct. the climbing shame. Let's get that in. So they are, because there's more than one, they are climbing. It must be climbing. And that comes word, climb. It's a climb. Okay, so they are climbing. Okay, so they the, the the four the four children are climbing on the climbing frame. Let's go to 15. A lady wearing a hijab. Now there's a word. I wonder if anybody knows what that means. Hijab. Something, a box of bread. So hijab is what is something oh, she's in. carrying, carrying, carrying. We just saw it. There she's she carrying. is. She is carrying. And a hijab is what someone who is Muslim. Yeah, uh, Muslim. Lady Muslim. They are of power. They will wear a hijab. Okay, so good. You got that. So that's number 15. She is carrying some bread. Last Let's write one that in. So is carrying. And that comes from the word carry. Or we can say holding. It's carrying. Deliver, delivering. 16. Let's go to the last one here. 16. A boy. Something at the bus stop. He's waiting the boy for the bus. bus stop. Um, it can't be suggested. What have we got left? What have we got left? Let's have a look. So there he is at the bus stop. What's he doing he at the bus isn't stop? He's riding the bus stop. No, he's How not can riding. We ride? eh? Sitting. Yeah, did we have sitting, sitting yet? 
Yeah, yeah we had it sitting already. The five people is sitting on the table and eating dinner. Okay, okay. So we have feet, we have yeah, feet, we have blood, we have sitting. We have, have, have sitting. Eat. There we go. Yeah, number three, we had they are sitting at the table. So did we get something wrong? Let's go back and find out. Can we can we find out what what else do we have left? What's missing? We got carrying. Only um we didn't have ride yet. I think we don't so have So we didn't have riding. Oh we did, we did, we did. Who was riding? Here, riding a bike, that person with the red oh, helmet yes, and yes, the pink okay. star. So where was that? So we had, yeah, riding. So that was number two. Um, yeah, okay, interesting. So I think we may have to use, we have to use wait, twice. Wait, I think we have one more. Let me see. It's it a shock. Followed by Tom of skateboard. Did yeah. Stan climb march feet eat sell cross carry right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Wait. Can I, so we've, we've can got I this, count? There, there is 17. There's 17 Sorry. words. So we've missed one. We have missed one. Uh, standing. One. We have standing. But he's, he's not, not standing. Up. He's like sitting and eating. Yeah, that's right. So is there another bus stop? Maybe. Is this another bus stop down here? No, that's a shop. Um, um, uh, so he's definitely sitting. So maybe did we get the other one wrong? Let's go back to number three. But they are sitting and eating. Maybe Let's, Maybe we can use it the same time again and again. Well, who can tell me which word have we missed? We've obviously, we've missed one. Which one have we missed? Because there is, there's 17 words and we've only used 16. Let's go through them. So, eat, sell, cross, carry, ride. I don't think we've done riding, have we? Oh, we did. Yeah, riding the bike. Okay, so they were sitting at the table. Let's go to number three. So, a family of five people sitting. Sitting and eating. Okay, so sitting and eating. Is there anything we can put in there for them? Buy, beat, follow, fly, watch. Hmm. Okay, so I think we're going to have to use sitting or waiting. Maybe. Waiting? Do we have waiting? We don't have wait. So, but that's what he's doing. He's waiting or he's sitting. So. Okay, so that's a mystery. We'll have to, um, if everyone can take a screenshot, maybe you can take time to look through this or I can send this to everybody. Can you show me the picture again? There's the picture. Oh, sorry, there's the picture. The full picture from the top to the bottom. Okay, so there it is. So for the bluebirds, I can't quite fit it in so it doesn't get too small. Let's just, okay, so there we go. Okay, so obviously we've got the family of five are sitting and eating. He's also sitting at the bus stop. So not to worry, what we're going to do for 16, let's go with is sitting. We all know, know we also know that he is waiting. So we've got two sits, that's okay. All right, so there's our answers there. We've got a beating, riding, sitting, selling, telling off, following, feeding, flying, standing, buying, watching, skateboarding, drawing, chalking, crossing, climbing, carrying, sitting, and waiting. Okay, so good job, guys. You got all those pretty I have much. A picture. 
I do have the picture in my background. Oh, you do? Okay. So I can send this to anybody that wants it. I already made a screenshot. Oh, good. I made it for a picture to All the right. photos. Excellent, excellent. Okay. All right, guys, we're nearly finished. Hey, Noah, how are you? I didn't see you before. How are you today? I'm fine. Okay. All right. Good, Noah. Nice to see you. All right, guys. Now we're just about finished. We might finish with a, a quick game. Okay. Now we talked at the start about adjectives. So we're going to do a quick game on adjectives and comparing things. For example, okay. it is darker here. Darker is the adjective. It's darker here than it Dark. is at Paul's place. Here is very bright. It didn't. It didn't even have a single rain, but only in the morning. Okay, so it's brighter. So that's how we can compare using it's an adjective. It's very bright and it's very hard too. So it's brighter it's at your both place, Vinia, than it is at mine. Are we done? Are we yeah. done learning? Uh, we are just going to do a quick game and then we are done. We are yeah. complete for today. Does anybody have any questions they'd like to ask why we why we get ready to play our game? What is that game? What is that game? We're going to we are going to have a quiz on um, on adjectives. So we're going to work out what's bigger or what's smaller. Is a uh, is a, like is a horse bigger or smaller than a mouse, for example? And you've got to pick which is the right word. So comparing. Comparing, correct. So. What can we compare? Give me some examples. Who can give me an example? Compare something. Um, uh, is a mouse smaller, bigger, or same as same as a bus? Same as. Yeah, perfect, Vinia. So, is a mouse smaller or bigger than a bus? Okay, so. At least I know the answer. I think we know, that's a good example. So we know a mouse is smaller. Or what is the smallest? We use the word smallest. What is the smallest between a mouse, a horse, and an ant? What is the smallest? Ant, an ant. An ant is the smallest. That's when we compare more than like, we compare three things. The smallest, the smallest thing, the smallest living thing I know is a virus. Ah, okay. The smallest thing is a virus. Yeah, the smallest thing I know is is plankton. Anyone heard of plankton? No. Plankton is the microscopic uh, sea creature. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you can't even see it. So if, if it, I think uh, like prawns or wait, shrimps, wait, wait, wait. they love plankton. But it's like invisible. It's like it's like dust in the water and the small all right guys now just to finish off to finish off today so we're going to do a quick quiz so let me go on to the quiz and you guys get ready for this one it's i'll just get grumpy it it's a monkey. youtube video it's our grumpy monkey sorry let me just go back into my inbox Okay, oh, not that one. And Here, where are we? Sorry. There, there was just a. Oh, no, that's actually. That's not the one, actually. So, sorry, I didn't save it here. So, let's just do ESL games. I'm going to use the word comparatives. Okay, so here it is. Okay, so it's a short video. And it is a quiz. Okay, so let's get ready and be ready to think and let me know your answer. Question. Would you build a website for a major brand 
with more than 200 million users. Okay, here we go, guys. Are we ready? Oh, sorry, we'll just, uh, this is pausing for a minute. Any motorbike? Anybody thinks motorbike? Cheetah. Okay, let's find Cheetah. out. Okay, Cheetah. it's going to be a Cheetah. it's going to be a very Cheetah. close Cheetah. race. Cheetah. 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 Are we ready? Are you ready for the answer? Cheetah. Cheetah. Here we go. Ready? Get ready. Let's see. Happy with that? Yeah, giraffe is taller. Giraffe okay, is taller how tall is a giraffe? You can tell me how tall. Except for that. How many meters yeah. would a giraffe be? It's like a giraffe. It's like ten meters or twenty. Ten Somehow or twenty? Like, yeah, I agree. I think it's so big. A giraffe, a giraffe, the, giraffe if it if it's bigger, up straight, a giraffe and might and be like yeah, almost bigger. might be twenty meters. Okay, let's see if we were correct. Oh, like a big king. People, it's a, it's about the size of the land, right? So, Russia, America or Russia? Russia. 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 Okay, it sounds Russia. like everybody Russia. mostly thinks Russia. 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 Yeah, look, I'm, I'm not sure. Russia. I'm, I'm, I'm really thinking not sure. Russia. 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 A little bit. Russia. Russia. Well, let's find out. So Finia was saying, yeah, it's very wide, Russia, and America is a little bit more higher or wider. Russia, um, definitely Russia. Got more height to it, and then Russia's got more width. Okay, let's find out which country is the Easy. biggest. Russia. Russia. Okay, I think Russia is correct. The biggest country is. Russia. 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 Okay, and Russia is bigger than America. Russia. Does anybody know the capital city of Russia? America. No. Capital city of Russia starts with M. Go. Who knows that one? The capital city of Thailand Moscow. is Bangkok. I think I heard someone say the answer. Moscow. Very good. Mexico, Mexico. Moscow, right. Moscow. Is the Moscow is the Russia. capital city of Russia. Okay, let's go. Uh, 
Everybody saying anybody anybody think the red bus or is it all blue whale? The blue whale. A blue whale. A whale. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna happy 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 Let's find out which is heavier. What weighs the most? Heavier. Yes. Blue whale. When the kangaroo stands up, it can be quite tall, but the ostrich has a long neck like a giraffe. Let's find out which one is shorter. See, let's find out. The smaller of the balls are, let's see. Such a ball. A little bit smaller, not much, a little bit. Good ball. Number eight. Quick. Quicker. Oh, we already have that. Which is quicker. Quicker or faster. Light is faster, light is quicker. Light. Yes. Light. Okay, everybody's light. thinking light. Okay, let's find out. I think it's light, but let's see.
Which is hotter? Is it lava versus the sun? Oh, the sun! Oh. 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 Lamborghini or the uh, the fighter jet? jet. The jet. It's jet. But Let's how much more questions? Not Lamborghini. How much more questions? Uh, I think we have we have one more after this. Okay. Okay. So let's see this one. The jet is more expensive. More expensive. Oh. It's the jet. Yeah. Oh. 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 Jet. Okay, guys, so that is. I'll just stop the sharing. All the and... All the quizzes. Okay, guys, so good job today. That's the end of our class. Does anybody have any questions they'd like to ask before we finish? No. No. Okay. No. So, uh, no. Next Wednesday, we're going to talk more about comparing items and adjectives and describing things, okay? okay? So you can get ready for next week. And research some very good adjectives. Okay, guys. So thanks very much today. Kun o, Thank have a good you. Bye-bye. All right. Have a great day, guys. We'll see you next Wednesday. Bye-bye, guys. Paul, Finia. Next time. There's no rain. Okay, Kuno, take care. Thank you. Goodbye, teacher, mom. Okay, bye bye, Paul. Good job today. We'll see you next Wednesday. Bye bye, Paul. Thank you. Uh, you're welcome. Good afternoon.